Next to the battle against superbugs, new confirmed cases tonight. Hospitals stepping up how they clean medical devices after two people died in California. But is that enough to stop these bugs that kill 23,000 Americans every year? Here's ABC's Aditi Roy. Tonight, three new cases of a superbug confirmed in North Carolina. Officials with Carolina's health system saying two of the patients came to this Charlotte area hospital already infected with the antibiotic resistant bug called CRE. Another patient was infected somewhere in the hospital. It's unclear how. Antibiotic resistant superbugs can spread by contaminated equipment or simple human contact, even doctors' ties or hospital surfaces like walls or beds, which is why hospitals across the country are trying new ways to fight an invisible enemy. Like using robots sterilizing a room with a UV light. The latest cases follow a CRE outbreak at UCLA's medical center this week after officials say the superbug spread by endoscopes contaminated from past procedures. Officials at the North Carolina hospital say all of their endoscopes tested negative for CRE. Every year, a half million Americans get procedures using scopes. Their intricate parts can make them hard to clean. UCLA is now stepping up its sanitation process, going beyond standard guidelines. At the University of Pittsburgh, they sterilize the devices for 18 hours using a special gas. The FDA says it's studying solutions, but some argue that's not enough. So we need better regulation, we need more education, and we need better drugs to fight uh, these resistant bacteria. Here at UCLA, officials say they've sent out 179 letters to patients who were exposed to the superbug, and now it's just a waiting game. Cecilia? A waiting game indeed.